So last week I was able to hit a restock at the local Walmart and we each got three select blasters, which was absolutely awesome. My buddy decided he wanted to rip his. He was handing out packs and he hit an absolute monster. Nice little Tua club level zebra case hit. We were looking at comps, looks like about 1400 bucks. So congrats to my buddy and I wanted to bring it on the channel. An absolutely amazing hit right and early in the morning. What is going on YouTube? Run Good Life coming at you with a brand new video today and today as promised we are checking out the 2020 select fat packs, cello packs, whatever you want to call them, value packs is what they call them. 15 cards per pack, uh, they sell for $9.99 if you can get them at your local Target or Walmart, Fred Meyer, Kroger, wherever you get trading cards. Uh, if you can't and you succumb to secondary market prices, you're going to be looking at between $40 and $55. Market fluctuates quite a bit on these. How's about $60,000? And I got to be honest, uh, compared to the Optic value packs, these are very, very good. I would say these are the best uh, fat packs and cello packs since Mosaic football in terms of football products. Prism was a little weak. It was very hard to get silver prisms out of it. Uh, Optic was pretty trashy. Very hard to get anything out of those fat packs. But from what I've seen, these are great. Tons of hits coming out of them. Now, I do need to caution you about something on the secondary market. So, the back card on these is very visible. If you, I'm going to try and tilt it so you can see, but you can see the writing on the card through the wrapper, through the white wrapper, and sometimes you can tell the name. So I'm pretty sure in this one, the back card is Clyde Edwards E. Lair. That's what I can see. On this one, uh, it looks like the last name is, ends in a son, so S-O-N. Uh, so like, maybe like Tyler, I don't know, one of the Andersons. And uh, I can kind of read it in this one as well. It looks like a Raiders logo. I can actually see a Raiders logo right there. Um, so I do need to caution you. You know, there may be sellers who look at that back card, and if it's Herbert or Burrow or Hertz or Tua, you're probably not going to get that one. Thanks, Captain Obvious. That's something to consider when purchasing these on the secondary market. Uh, I would probably, if you are concerned about that, I would recommend going with the Hanger Boxes Mega Box if that is out, because as of right now, as of recording this video, we have not seen the Mega Box go uh, live yet, or the Hanger Boxes, which are. Uh, the last one, they have been uh, staggering out the release of the products. First came the fat packs, then the blasters. Now we're seeing the hanger boxes starting to roll out. Uh, anyways, I'm excited to get into it today. Select has been great to me. If you saw the blaster video earlier this week, you saw that I hit the Justin Herbert die cut premiere level green. And then if you saw my hobby box from a couple weeks back, uh, you'll know that I hit four Justin Herberts and a Chase Claypool auto. Absolutely fun. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Uh, so let's go ahead and kick it off with this one. The one that I said, like I said on the back, is Clyde Edwards E. Lair, I believe. Uh, the cello pack's pretty good in terms of what you can hit. You can hit all of the die cuts that you can in the blaster. You can hit zebras, which are super short printed, highly desirable. Um, let's look at the back card, shall we? Antoine Winfield. Ooh, I was wrong. <laughs> Anyways, kicking things off, we have Cole Komet, Peyton Manning, James Robinson. These are all concourse. There we go. There's our dude, Mr. Joe Burrow. Joey B for the Bengals. That is also going to be a concourse level. Talked about it a lot. There are four different levels in select. Concourse, Premier Club, and Field. They correspond with uh, the card numbers in the set. This one's going to be card number 46, so all the concourses are 1 through 100. Continuing on, we have my dude, Russ Wilson. Michael Pittman Jr. Jerry Rice. Devin DuVernay. We have a Tua, and that is going to be a select certified. That is an insert. Beautiful looking insert. A whole lot of... Whole lot of silver on that card. Very hard to gem one of those, I would imagine. We have a turbocharged of Saquon Barkley. Hot Stars CMC. Drew Brees Unbreakable as well. You're getting some decent inserts, and I think your good stuff's in here. 
We have a Grant Delpit, and that is going to be a club level silver. We also have a, yeah, club level, right? Yep, club level. We have a Rodrigo Blankenship. I believe that's the Colts kicker. And a field level, Antoine Winfield Jr. So we did hit the Joey B and the, the Tua. No die cuts in that one, unfortunately. Hopefully we can see one, one or two nice die cuts because the blasters are loaded. We saw we get about five die cuts per blaster box. All right. Not seen any die cuts in this one either. We have Keyshawn Vaughn, Philip Rivers, Derek Brown. There we go. Uh, to go along with our Burrow, we are now going to add a Tua into the mix. I will gladly take that. Again, another concourse level. These ones are going to be the ones that are probably the most readily available. I think I'm seeing a scratch on it, unfortunately. A little bit of a scratch right there, so not a grading candidate at all on that one. Our second Tua, though. Lamar Jackson, Justin Jefferson, Joe Montana, tons of rookies coming out of this. Thomas Davis Sr., select certified, and that's going to be Mr. Henry Ruggs. We have a turbocharged Tom Brady. That's a good looking card. I like the team color right there. Kind of team color. Hot stars. Mr. Russ Wilson going straight to the PC. Shout out my dude Shy City Pool is always stealing your gimmicks. We have Unbreakable John Elway. Silver. Silver is going to be AJ Epinesa. So another rookie silver. But not the rookie that we were hoping to hit. That one is going to also be a club level. Go ahead, sleeve that one up really quick. Club level sil silver of AJ Epinesa. Oh, funny, funny. We have Rodrigo Blankenship again. And a Derek Carr going to end the pack again. I told you guys it was a Raider, and I was right. All right. Final cello pack, final value pack, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if we can pull some fire in this one. I have seen a lot of good cards come out of these. I've watched a lot of other content creators open them. Um, so we'll see what we can get. I know three is a pretty small sample size. Uh, and I've just been running it over when it comes to select. The blasters I ripped were good. The hobby box was good. So maybe it's about time my luck comes down to earth with select. Keyshawn Vaughn, Philip Rivers, Derek Brown. How about another Tua? So that is my second concourse Tua. Two Tuas in a burrow. Again, that's not that bad for... Especially if you're finding these for $10, definitely not that bad. But $40, maybe uh, maybe not so great. Let the games of chance begin! Again, it's just paying those insane prices. We have J.K. Dobbins, Henry Ruggs, Hot Stars Deshaun Watson, Hot Stars Silver Prism, and that is going to be Mr. Russ Wilson. Alvin Kamara for the Saints. Going to be the Concourse Silver. Another Derek Carr. And ending on C.J. Henderson. I, I told you guys it, his name ended in S-O-N. So overall, not too bad. I would say I probably got three of the not as great cello packs um, based off of what I've seen other people get. But that is okay. I'm still pretty happy with the rip. Uh, the two Tua's oh, is nice. The Burrow is nice. Three Tua's, excuse me. Three Tua's, couple rookie silvers, as well as a Russ Wilson silver. And of course, the Joey B. Now, if you want my opinion on if you're going to buy on the secondary market, uh, I'm not saying this being results orientated. I know that my cellos were not necessarily the best based off other ones that I've seen. Um, my personal opinion is there is tremendous tremendous value in the blaster boxes at that 120 to 125 price point um just a lot of big hits you get 24 cards about five die cuts and two silver prisms per box i believe um so i would say if you're gonna go that route just go ahead and buy the blaster boxes or the hanger boxes are pretty good as well based off some early ones that i've seen ripped um but i would probably go with the blaster boxes 
you can get about one of those for or three of the cello packs i would probably take the blaster boxes that's gonna do it for me today if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to check out the blaster box video i did earlier this week i am doing a giveaway i'm giving away a blaster box so you've got to go over to that video to figure out how you can enter to win that still time to get in on that i've not yet announced a winner i will do that early next week that's gonna do it for me today Take care, stay safe, as always, rip some select because this is awesome, and I'll catch you in the live streams or on down the road.